All right. Hey, readers, we're back for chapters two to four of the Magic Treehouse Pirates Past Noon. So before we start, I want to remind you that we are focusing on making sure that we understand our books. So what we're going to do first is to make sure and check that you're getting it, that you're understanding what's going on. So let's bring back Rocco to see if he remembers what happened in the book. Oh, hello, Miss Lavecchio. Oh boy, I'm so excited for chapters two, three, and four. Okay, Rocco, so before we read, it's a good idea to think about, you know, what happened in the last chapter so our, our brains are ready. Oh boy, so the last chapter was so good because Gerald had an ice cream cone and Piggy also wanted an ice cream cone. Wait, no, 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 that's that's the wrong book. We're not, we're not reading, we're not reading Piggy and Elephant. We're reading Magic Treehouse, Pirates Past Noon. Oh, boy, excuse me, I forgot. That's right, that's right. Okay. I definitely remember what's going on. So Jack and Annie, they uh, went to the Magic Tree House and they looked at a book about pirates and my cousin Polly. And then the wind started to blow and then it got very quiet. And I remember also there's an M, a medallion that has an M that we have to keep thinking about because that's a big mystery. What's the M? Oh, oh, what is that M? Okay. Thanks, Rocco. <laughs> so as we read, remember, make a movie to picture what's happening. So maybe you're just cozy in your PJs or you're cozy in your favorite pair of sweats with your teddy bear and a blanket, or maybe you have your pens and paper and crayons and you're gonna draw a picture. So sit back and relax and make that movie in your mind to picture what's going on. Chapter two, The Bright Blue Sea. Jack felt hot sunlight streaming into the treehouse. He smelled salt water. He heard the sound of waves. He and Annie looked out the window. The treehouse was in a palm tree. Beyond was a bright blue sea. A tall sailing ship was on the horizon. It was just like the picture in the book. Brah, too late, squawked Polly. Look, said Annie. Polly was flying in circles above the tree, above the treehouse. Then she swooped down to the ocean. Come on, let's follow her. Let's go in the water, said Annie. She took off her raincoat and dropped it on the floor. Wait, we have to study the book first, said Jack. He started to reach for the book, but Annie grabbed it. Ah, oh, you can read it on the beach, she said. Without even looking at the cover, she shoved the book into Jack's backpack. He sighed. <sighs> Actually, the water did look wonderful. Oh, okay, said Jack. He took off his raincoat too. Come on! Annie handed Jack his backpack, then started down the ladder. Jack folded the raincoat and put it next to the stack of books. He put on his backpack, then he went down the ladder. As soon as Annie hit the sand, she ran towards the ocean. Jack watched her wade into the water. She was still wearing her rain boots. Your boots, Annie, called Jack. She shrugged. Meh, they'll dry out she said. Jack took off his boots and socks. He put them beside his pack. Then he rolled up his jeans and ran across the hot sand into the waves. Oh, the water was warm and clear. Jack could see shells of tiny fishes, shells and tiny fishes. He shielded his eyes against the sun and peered out at the sea. The tall sailing ship seemed a bit closer. Where's Polly? said Annie. Jack glanced around. No sign of Polly. Not in the palm trees, not on the sunlit sand, not over the bright blue sea. When Jack looked out at the sea again, the ship seemed even closer. Now Jack could see its flag. As he stared at the ship's flag, a chill went through him. The flag was black with a skull and crossbones. Oh, man, he breathed. 
He stared out at the water. What's wrong? said Annie. She splashed after him. Jack ran to his backpack. Annie followed. He grabbed the book from his backpack. He looked at the cover. For the first time, he and Annie read the title of the book. Yikes, said Annie. Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack read out loud. And that's the end of that chapter. So before we move on, let's remind ourselves that we always want to do something at the end. Now we're going to read some more. So let's do this. After I'm done talking, pause this video and choose one of these. Act out what happened in this chapter or just retell with your buddy or your parent or your stuffed animal what happened in this chapter. And then we'll start the next one. Now that you're done with that, let's make a prediction. We're gonna get Rocco's help for a prediction. So remember, a prediction is an educated guess, right? That means like a smart guess. We have to think what is going on in the book to make the best guess. So Rocco, what do you think is going to happen next? Well, uh, I think that uh, Annie and Jack are gonna go find the Hyatt Regency Hotel on this island and they're gonna get in their bathing suits and get some hot dogs and some comic books and they're gonna have a good time at the pool. Okay, Rocco, that's a guess, but that doesn't really make sense because that has nothing to do with this book. So think about what's been going on in the book, Rocco. Okay, uh... So they got to the island and they can't find my cousin Polly and they go out to the, the ocean and they see a big ship and then they look at the book and they realize it's called Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, oh boy. Oh, wow. well, I think that that pirate ship has a bunch of pirates from the Caribbean and they keep saying that the boat is getting closer. Oh boy, I think those pirates are going to come to shore and Annie and Jack are gonna need to save themselves. Oh, Rocco, that is such a better prediction. You're using what's going on in the book to figure out what's gonna happen next. Great job, Rocco. All right, let's go ahead and read chapter three. Three men in a boat. Oh. We've come to the time of the pirates, Jack said. Pirates, squeaked Annie, like in Peter Pan. Jack flipped to the picture that showed the parrot, the sea, and the ship. He read the caption under the picture. Three hundred years ago, pirates raided Spanish treasure ships in the Caribbean Sea. He grabbed his notebook and pencil from his pack. He wrote, Pirates of the Caribbean. He turned to the next page. There was a picture of a pirate flag. He read, the skull and crossbone flag was called the Jolly Roger. Let's go, said Annie. Wait, said Jack. I want to make a drawing of the flag. He dropped the pirate book in the sand. He started drawing the Jolly Roger flag. Don't copy the picture in the book, said Annie. Look at the real thing. But Jack pushed his glasses into place and kept drawing. Jack, some pirates are getting into a rowboat, said Annie. Jack just kept drawing. Jack, the boat's leaving the big ship, said Annie. What? Jack looked up. Look! Annie pointed. Jack looked. He saw the rowboat coming towards the shore. Run, said Annie. She started running towards the treehouse. Jack jumped up. His glasses fell off. Hurry, Annie called back at him. Jack went down on his knees. He felt for his glasses. Where were they? Jack saw something glinting in the sand. He reached for it. Ah, it was his glasses. He snatched them up. Then he threw his notebook and pencil into his pack. He put the pack on his back. He grabbed his boots and his socks and he took off running. Hurry, hurry, they're coming. Annie was at the top of the rope ladder. Jack looked back at the sea. The pirates were closer to the shore. Suddenly, Jack saw the pirate book. 
In all the confusion, he had forgot it. It was still propped up in the sand. Oh, man, I forgot the book, he said. He dropped his socks and boots below the treehouse. Come on, Jack, Annie shouted. I'll be right back, Jack called. I've got to get the book. Jack, forget it. But Jack was already run running towards the water. Jack grabbed the book. Come back, Annie shouted. Jack shoved the book into his backpack. Suddenly, a giant wave carried the rowboat right onto the beach. Run, Jack, shouted Annie. Three big pirates splashed onto the sand. They had knives in their teeth. They had pistols in their belts. They charged towards Jack. Run, Jack, run. Oh, and that's the end of chapter three. And I'm noticing from what we read, that chapter reminds me of the cover of this book. So after we finish a chapter, we do something. So I'm going to have you press pause and go ahead and either act out what happened in this chapter or talk to someone and retell them what happened. And then when you're done doing that, make a prediction. What's going on in this book? And what does that make you think is going to happen next? Go ahead and press pause and we'll come back for chapter four. Chapter four, vile booty. Booty me, 